Michael and Jennifer had been happily married for three years when Jennifer's mother, Mary, who was 60 years old, moved in. She had lost her home and had no money for rent. Michael didn't mind as he was earning well as an accountant and could easily support Mary. Especially Jennifer was very insistent that her mother move in with them. Sometimes the mother-in-law invited men to her house, but Michael did not like it, but he understood everything and did not say anything. On Mary's 61st birthday, Michael gave her a surprise. He gave her an all-expenses-paid vacation at a resort in Nicaragua. Thus, he solved two problems at once and mother-in-law will make a nice gift and himself a vacation from her, and Jennifer was very grateful to her loving and attentive husband. In her eyes, he was the perfect husband. The week without Mary flew by quickly for Michael. A week later, his mother-in-law returned from a trip and brought with her a 25-year-old guy from Nicaragua named Tim, whom she introduced as her new husband. She explained that they had fallen in love at the resort and he had proposed to her. Tim also moved into Michael and Jennifer's house. Michael was just in shock. He didn't like some big guy walking around his house. But he kept quiet as he was afraid of upsetting Jennifer who was very happy for her mother. Tim spoke very bad English and started taking Michael's things without asking. He was very untidy, leaving trash and clutter everywhere and often forgot to flush the toilet. Mary constantly defended Tim's behavior, which caused fights with Jennifer and Michael. At night, there were loud moans coming from Mary's bedroom due to her intimate relationship with Tim. From those moans, it was clear why the mother-in-law was so protective of Tim. Tim didn't work or even think about looking for a job. All of his bills were paid by Jennifer at Michael's expense. One day Michael noticed his expensive watch was missing. A few days later Tim showed up with a new motorcycle. Michael was sure that Tim had stolen his watch to buy the motorcycle. When he told Mary and Jennifer about it, Mary admitted that she had taken the watch to buy a gift for Tim, figuring that Michael wasn't wearing it anyway. This infuriated Michael, and he rented a small apartment for Mary and Tim, saying Tim is your husband and let him provide for you. After they moved in, Tim left Mary, saying he had fallen out of love with her and was keeping the motorcycle as a memory of her. A month later, Mary moved back in with Michael and Jennifer accusing Michael of ruining her happy marriage over a stupid watch worth only $12,000. Michael allowed his mother-in-law to live with them, but set strict conditions. He forbade her from bringing men into his home.